A lot of people don't know how we got the Bible at all. We Westerners got the Bible thanks to the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church and members of the Church wrote the books of the New Testament. And they took over the books of the Old Testament, which even by the time of Christ had not been finally decided upon by the Jews. The Jews did not close the canon of the Old Testament until the year 100 AD or thereabouts at the Synod of Jamnia. And then they finally decided which were the canonical books of the Hebrew Scriptures and embodied them in the Masoretic text, the earliest copy of which dates from the 10th century, early in the 10th century AD. The books to be included in the New Testament were not finally decided upon until the year 382 AD again at the Synod of Rome under Pope Damasus. So it was the church, the Catholic Church, that promulgated the Bible and said, we are giving you these scriptures on our authority and by the authority of the informal tradition that has existed among us from the beginning, inspired by the Holy Spirit. So you receive historically the Bible on the church's say-so. And the Catholic Church insists, therefore, that the church, collectively, speaking under the presumed guidance of the Holy Spirit, has the authority to interpret the Bible. And you can take that or leave it. Hindus believe that the Vedas are divinely revealed and inspired with and by the authority of the informal tradition that has existed among us from the beginning inspired by the Holy Spirit. So you receive historically the Bible on the church's say so. And the Catholic Church insists therefore that the church collectively speaking under the presumed guidance of the Holy Spirit has the authority to interpret the Bible and you can take that or leave it. Hindus believe that the Vedas are divinely revealed and inspired with just as much fervor as any Christian or any Jew. Muslims believe that the Quran is divinely inspired and some Buddhists believe that their sutras are also of divine or rather a Buddhic origin. The Japanese believe that the ancient texts of Shinto are likewise of divine origin. And who is to be judge? So if the church says the Bible is true, it finally comes down to you. Are you going to believe the church or aren't you? So really, I won't deny anybody's right to hold these opinions. You may indeed believe that the Bible is literally true and that it was actually dictated by God to Moses and the prophets and the apostles. And that may be your opinion and you are at liberty to hold it. I don't agree with you. I do believe on the other hand that there is a sense in which the Bible is divinely inspired. But since inspiration always comes through a human vehicle, it is liable to be distorted by that vehicle. In other words, I'm talking to you through a sound system. And it's the only one now available. Now, if there's something wrong with this sound system, whatever truths I might utter to you will be distorted. My voice will be distorted. And you might mistake the meaning of what I said. Now, so therefore, everybody...